honours even after a tight first day. Warwickshire are the third team in the tight trio at the top of Group 1. Just seven points behind the leaders and two from second place knots. They made the short hop to Derbyshire to take on the winless side. They have the fewest points across all of the LV County Championship. The Bears were put into bat by their hosts and the start of the day belied their lowly standing. Early wickets left the visitors in a bit of a tough patch. Connors was the man with both. Rhodes out first to a tame shot. And then he had Milan bowled for a duck. The early swing too much for the number three. Hayne and Yates forged a good partnership and they held firm. They ticked the score past 50 as the early wickets dried up for Derbyshire. It was a decent rebuilding job. The partners shared 50 runs and they began to look for 100 for their side. They'd make it to 82 when lunch was taken. A session of two halves now edging the way of the Bears. Derbyshire found another wicket soon after the restart. The potential for Rob Yates to anchor the innings was dealt with by Connors. Seven bowlers used by Derbyshire already, but only he had picked up wickets. Lamb and Hayne took them to 100, but it wouldn't be long before the hosts had another. Connors again with the wicket. Lamb out, and the bowler won away from a fifer. With his side now into triple figures, Hayne found the runs he needed to tick over to his half century. His 50 runs were scored off 111 balls. They continued to find joy. Once again, after two early wickets had fallen, Warwickshire rested back control to breeze past 150, and they started to think about 200 runs. But with both Burgess and Hayne looking serene and collected, Derbyshire found a crucial wicket before T. Hayne was the man to go, out for 77, caught by Madsen off the bowling of Rees. The break came a few overs later. The score, 185 for 5, and a tug of war of momentum continuing to play out. Burgess and Bresnan returned. Their partnership so often held the key for Warwickshire, and they got off to a good start in the evening session. 200 runs on the board, and both men looking solid. The keeper had his 50 soon after. Three runs took him to the mark, even if the shot left a little to be desired. With the score on a double Nelson, Derbyshire had their sixth wicket. Bresnan the man to go, taking it slip off the bowling of Hughes. Briggs helped Burgess take the total to 250, but it wouldn't be long before Warwickshire lost another wicket, and it was the set batsman who had to leave the field, caught by Guest of the bowling of Cohen for 71. Briggs followed his colleague a few overs later, Aitchison this time finding the edge, and they were soon nine down when a catch was clothed back to Rees off Norwell. Miles and Hannon Dalby held firm in what remained of the day. They reached the close with the score 272 for nine, an even day brought to an end, and a fascinating second day lay ahead. Could either team take this game by the scruff of the neck?